already. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Damn flies! Yeah. 
I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Yep. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Understood? Thumb them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. One by the bridge over there.
think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Just be one more, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> the... That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... They was the finest family around.
of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, Quiet. Come on, you degenerate, <laughs> no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean? Young Dutch. I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Ugh. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! of a rider. We'll see about that.
quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Yes, Miss Can, can I have a quick word? Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yep. How you get wind of this, old man? They only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ's sake. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. Uh. I don't, I don't want to get shot. Mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? 
I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Sack. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back.
place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers! Uh, got a hit! Watch it, Charles! We got more of the bastards on this side! Where are they?
Y'all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty before time ravaged you. Oh, you horrible <laughs> man. <laughs> That's right. Mmm. -hmm. What's wrong now? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! the coach job yeah another running with the cornwall army yeah it got heavy but no well, we came out of it with some money arthur yes kid you got a lot on 
Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way, on me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You have been drinking again? No, well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Ha! Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just 
Take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. Good girl. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Hey, you might want to look over to the right. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? We're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. So may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my come people. Come on, kid. Now, uh, are you? <laughs> have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here!
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. Search him. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. For talking's almost up. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines, bastards! Chasing. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Then nothing but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this game. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back.
These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. <laughs>